If you're thinking about buying your first home or investment property, there are eight really simple questions that we think are important to answer before you go out there and spend all that money, man. <laughs> so in today's video, we're gonna talk through these extremely quickly, have a little bit of fun with you, and hopefully you can make better decisions and make less of the mistakes that I've make it, made as an investor. Buying an investment property is gonna be hands down one of the biggest financial decisions that you and your family make throughout your entire life. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is, why am I investing in real estate? And you need a clear answer to this question as well. I really like that question, man, because it perfectly leads into number two, which is you know, to do with your vision. Where do you wanna be 15 years from today? Now, if you don't know, which I didn't know when I was starting out either, it's as simple as what's your current annual salary today? Why don't we start by replacing that? So if you're on 100K, the goal 15 years from now should be 100,000 bucks a year of passive income through the properties you own. I love that because then there's more of a purpose to why you're buying that investment property and there's a plan that you're actually working toward in the future as opposed to just going out there and buying what you can. And then the third question is, you know, if you've landed on the answers for one and two is, well, what is my next step? What do I need to do to make this goal a reality? And then focusing on exactly what that is, which might be to put in a budget and start saving that deposit. It might be going and communicating with your mortgage broker and your accountant to get all of your finances set up. It might be booking in a strategy session with a buyer's agent to learn more about the decision that you're about to make. Yeah, and then leading on from that, it can get even more granular, like what market, you know, what market within that market, which capital city, what suburb, what type of house. And these are those questions that can make actually stepping into the market feel a lot easier. And instead of jumping out of a plane, which is what it feels like for most mm. of us, myself included, when we first buy, it's more like stepping off the gutter because you're ready to do it. I also like adding a why to that what as well. So it's like what market and why, what suburb and why, and the, the why should always be to link back to your short and long-term goals. I love that, man. So the fourth question that I ask, and you sort of touched on it, is can I even borrow money? Yeah. Like just because I want to buy a property doesn't mean I've been able to in the past. So there's really a simple way to do this. Go and talk to the bank manager or the mortgage broker. Give them all of your financials and wait to see what they say. They're going to say one of two things, either no, and then your question is, well, why not? What can I do to change that? And that might mean saving, it might mean increasing your income, or yes, you can, cool, what can I borrow? And is that enough for what you want to do? Or same question again to them, you know, what do I need to do to increase that? And then once you've got that feedback from the broker or the bank manager, you should know how much you can borrow, you should know how much you can purchase a house for, and then you're going to be looking at the market that you're going to be investing in. You're going to be looking at what states, which cities around Australia actually represent value in the current market because we don't want to be buying at the top of the cycle. You want to be buying as close to the bottom or the middle of the cycle as you possibly can. Uh, so there's some great resources that you can use there. You can look at the 10-year averages to figure out where things are at. You can look at some of the data from Jeremy Shepard. You can look at HTW to get a bit of an indication. Uh, but we've also gone into a lot of depth on these types of things on our YouTube channel like understanding the 18.6 year real estate cycle, understanding which markets around Australia perform well at different stages throughout that cycle. So go do a little bit more research if you're not sure which market or which city you should be investing in. I love that, bro. And that naturally leads into the sixth question that I always ask, which is once I know the market, the city, the state, which suburb should I be going into? And it's, you know, if you're a Sydney person, there's the Northern Beaches, Eastern City, Southern Side and Western Sydney. And it's the same in every capital city in Oz. And it's really a case of going, cool, I like Brizzy. Well, North Brisbane looks good and it's in my budget. I like these beachside suburbs. Here's six of them. Actually looking at the data, I really like this one because it's got low vacancy rates, good average house incomes, average household incomes good DSR scores, because it's 10 year performance has been low, but it's 50 year performance has been higher. Jeez, I'm struggling to get to <laughs> Need to do, uh, yeah. The, Red, yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah. <laughs> you screwing that I can't even do too. that either. And then leading into obviously seven, uh, question number seven from there is, do I <laughs> actually have a team of advisors there? You know, because more often than not, the city, the suburb, 
that you're going to be investing in may not be your local market. So you're going to need to leverage off the expertise of local property managers, local solicitors, local building and pest inspectors, local town planners that really understand that market at a very granular level. So if you don't already have those advisors, you need to seek them out um, to ensure that you're getting the most support for that property as well. You know, to touch on that, most investors, especially starting out, just sort of buy and then scramble to figure it out. But I think in terms of great questions to ask before is, do I have those people that you just mentioned? And that can make things so much easier. Then leading into question eight, it's really that last question, which is the million dollar one. What type of property or which property do I want to buy now? Like you said, we've got an incredible video on how to buy the right property on our YouTube channel. You guys can go have a look at that. Um, But for me, it's always houses in quiet streets, in quality suburbs, in quality pockets of the suburb, not on main roads, not near train lines, not on cemeteries, not on schools, not on the commercial or the industrial pockets of the suburbs. And just really the simple question is, would I live there and raise my family in that street, in that pocket of that suburb, in that particular home? And I think that's a good gut feel. Now, We don't always have the budget to buy like that $2 million family home that you mentioned. So if you're starting at 500K, obviously you're gonna have to make a few adjustments. But I think thinking with intuition as well as numbers can be a great place to answer that eighth question. Now after asking and answering all of those eight questions, you should have a lot more clarity as to what you should be doing next so that we're not making just shoot from the hip cowboy decisions. We're actually making logical decisions based on logic, based on a really thoughtful process to actually understand where we should be spending our money for the biggest investment of our life. Now, if you're struggling to make these questions or if you've answered all these questions and you still don't have the confidence that you need to enter into the market, then what we do as a business is we actually help a small number of investors invest in the Southeast Queensland market every single month. And what we'd love to offer you guys if you're seriously considering purchasing a property is a free strategy session that you can access via our website, pumpedonproperty.com and follow the free strategy session links to lock in a call with myself, Simon, my brother, Ben, or our sister, Crystal, where we'll talk with you about where you're at right now where you want to be in the future. We can give you a detailed market update and educate you on some of the markets that we think look really good moving forward. And we can help you answer some of these questions so that you can then go out and smash your goals yourself. Or if you would like the support of our team, you can become one of the small number of people that we work with every single month. But either way, we want to see investors make smarter decisions and generate a better return on their investment. So hopefully after answering these questions, you can go out there and do exactly that. Woo! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Getting That's cool, bro. Yeah. Oh, sweaty. So sweaty. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> That's so nice, eh? Oh.